Hello friends, welcome back. I am Trilochan. Let's continue with Python series. In the previous tutorial, we had discussed how to build a very basic Mad Libs games in Python, right? In this tutorial, we'll discuss another popular game project, Dice Rolling Simulator. As the name of program suggests, we will be imitating a rolling dice. This is one of the interesting Python projects. Listen carefully. It will generate a random number each dice the program runs and the users can use the dice repeatedly for as long as he wants. When the users roll the dice the program will generate a number random number between 1 and 6 as uh, on a standard dice right. The number will then be displayed to the user. It will also ask user if they would like to roll the dice again. The program should also include a function that can randomly grab a number within 1 to 6 and print it. I hope this beginner level python projects will help build a strong foundation for fundamental programming concepts. So let's pause this video and try yourself. And to understand the game, you can listen again from the starting. Okay, so then try. If you are not able to, then you can resume and watch the complete video. So let's do it here in program. So, so you can, as I said, you can. We need a random number, right? So for random number, we have to import one built-in modules, the random. Okay, so here you can import random here it is so next is you have to take one while loop to dice to random randomly generate the dice right so it will be continuous process so it you need a loop but while loop why while loop because we don't know where to stop okay so this is why we, we will take one while loop so a, again you take a, another variable for pass the condition for a while loop suppose this is you can take again variable here it is you make it by default is true okay so here you can write while loop and the variable is in condition is again here so in while loop you, we have to print the random value okay so let's print that one print random and the another attribute of random or function of random is rand integer here it is is suggesting rand integer so we have to pass the range so our range is 1 to 6 right so you can also take here 1 comma 6 okay so we have to print a random number between 1 to 6 so i have taken the range here 1 to 6 right so next is so we have to ask the user you want to roll again or not so for that you can take another input variable like you can another role okay here we can take input you can write here one two roll the die roll the dice again here it is so here it is option is also there so yes or no okay so similarly you can then the condition we will check if another role here it is you can take this one because uh, someone will add uh, capital y and yes so we can make it like another role dot lower function so that the input always in lower case okay so you can check it with y right here it is so one more thing i will suggest it's not only the 
y n so you can take a yes or uh, you can take another condition also but for as i mentioned here is y and n so you can text compare with the only y there is no need of yes okay so here it is you can for if this is yes then simply you can write continue keyword i think we have discussed this continue and break right so here it is you can write continue else else it will be break right so this is like we have written whole program here everything if if you run this one it will give you the result and 1 to 6 and if you want to roll again dice dice the again so it will continue and it will give the another results so this is how you can create all like the program and this is the game all together okay so let's execute this and see the result here so so for executing so you will write python and your file name python 3 okay so let's enter here it is the first random is number is 6 then it will it ask us to want to roll the dice again yes or no if yes it will give another number here it is again you can try yes it will give another random number so similarly if you uh, write here no then it's a break now your task is to ask the user for the minimum and maximum value of the die a die can have many sides if our user of the program wants to simulate a dice roll with a many sided die we can allow the user to enter the minimum and maximum number of the die right so another use case like what if the user enters invalid input so for that you can use try accept to improve error handling right so i hope you like this video please do like share comment and subscribe thank you for watching